thought today would be a nice day for another slow flow, um, especially after the sculpt practice. Hope you're feeling good from that, feeling some of your muscles. Um, we'll work through hopefully total body in this practice. It won't be a super long class. So just enjoy some sweet, simple movements uh, at whatever point in your day you are completing this practice. We'll meet together just in a comfortable seat. Okay, if you know you have tight hips and low back, set yourself up on a pillow or a folded blanket. Give your shoulders a couple of rolls and let's close down the eyes. Take a few moments for yourself as you check in with the breath, with how your body is feeling. Maybe you have some stuff going on in your mind. See if you can use your breath as a tool to help some of that settle, even just for the next few moments. On your next breath, can you drop your chin down towards your chest? Feel some length in the back of your neck and rock your right ear to your right shoulder. And slowly transition to the other side. So slow half circles for the neck, left ear to left shoulder. And rock over to the right. Can you match the flow of your breath to this movement? Start to set a cadence of breath. Next time you come back through center, stack your head back up over your shoulders. Let's take an inhale, shrug the shoulders up towards your ears and exhale, send them down and back, open up across your chest. Two more like that, big inhale breath. Exhale, ha, one more time, big inhale, big roll of the shoulders and exhale, ha. You can blink your eyes open, take an inhale, reach your arms overhead. With your exhale, can you take your right fingertips out towards the right side of your space and bring your left hand to um, the right side of your head? It's just a really, really light uh, grip, light pressure. As you draw your left ear to your left shoulder and walk your fingertips out, there might be kind of a nervy sensation along the right side. Maybe play around with the position of your chin. You know, we're not forcing the head to move here. It's really light. Next inhale, come back up through center. Other side, drop your left fingertips down and your right hand to the left side of your head. Walk your fingertips out so your arm is extended. And then that soft pressure as your right shoulder moves towards your right ear. Again, you can play around with the position of your chin, lift or lower your gaze. And inhale, come back up through center, reach your arms up, big stretch. Exhale, drop your hands down to your knees, your shins. And with your inhale, can you slowly guide your chest forward, create kind of a banana shape in your low back, and then circle over towards the right. And with your exhale, can you round out your back body, draw your navel to your spine and circle forward, but from the left. So you're drawing big circles over your hips. Okay, stretching out along the spine, creating space across the chest. Again, let your breath guide you through this movement. So you're slow, creating that cadence of breathing. You can close down your eyes here. And this movement might feel slightly awkward or, or uh, sticky even to start as we just work through some uh, fascia in the body, some tension in the body. Hey, maybe you are feeling yesterday's practice quite a bit. So just be really, really gentle to your body. Next time you come through center, let's reverse the direction. So big circles the opposite way. Maybe you tuck your chin tight to your chest as you dome back and lift your gaze as you pull forward. No right or wrong here. Just feel into the sensation. 
Maybe there's this place of meditation with your eyes closed and your breath really stable. Next time you come through center, pause, move your body in any way that feels good, and let's meet in a child's pose. So your knees open up nice and wide, big toes meet near the back of your mat, walk your hands forward and land your forehead on the mat. And we'll add some movement from child's pose. So you're here in child's pose and with your inhale, can you shift forward? And take your right arm, sweep it forward all the way back, some rotation in the shoulder, and then exhale, send your hips back down towards your heels. Other side, inhale, shift forward, left arm will reach forward, back, then all the way through to the mat as you press back, child's pose. Okay, so again, find your cadence of breath, right side, inhale, right arm will reach up, and exhale, press back. Inhale, left arm will reach forward and back. Let's do one more on each side. Inhale, reach and circle back. Last time to the left, inhale and exhale, child's pose. Ha. Huh. Come forward onto your, um, into your tabletop position. Okay. Then spread your fingertips wide. We'll work on some protraction, retraction of the shoulder blades. So with your inhale, can you press away from the mat and feel your shoulder blades move away from one another so you're doming the back body? And with your exhale, can you soften towards the front of the chest, like your chest moves towards the mat and your shoulder blades draw in? Okay. Again, inhale, press away from your mat, dome across your back body. And exhale, let your chest soften in. Let's take three more like that. Inhale, press away, big stretch for the back body. Exhale, soften. Two more, inhale. And exhale, one more time. Inhale, breath. Exhale, really soften in. And then come back to your neutral tabletop. Okay, sit back, hips on heels. You can bring your knees together. And then give your shoulders another big roll. And then from here, can you slowly interlace your grip, send your palms forward, press through your palms and draw your navel to your spine. So similar to what we did seated. Okay, so it's like a variation of cow cat. With your inhale, can you press through your palms, send your chest open, your ribs slightly forward and your arms over. Then exhale, move back, press into your palms. So palms reach forward, navel to spine, chin to chest. Okay, let's take three of those with the breath. Inhale, reach, open up. And exhale, round back. Two more, inhale, big stretch, open up. And exhale, round back. One more time, inhale, open up. And exhale, round back, ha. Okay, slowly come back to a neutral spine, release your arms. Close down your eyes and feel your arms just hang heavy beside you. Okay. Then come forward onto both palms, tuck your toes downward facing dog right into a forward fold at the back of your mat. Okay, take an inhale to halfway lift, lengthen your spine, shoulders roll down and back. Exhale to forward fold. Two more like that, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. One more time, inhale, halfway lift and fully surrender into your fold. Bend your knees a lot, take your feet out hip distance, and let's come into a squat shape. So sit your hips back, elbows to the inner line of your knees, lift up tall through your chest. And then remember with squat pose, if this is way too intense, way too much compression for the hips, you're welcome to hold here a bit more of a strength um, a focused pose, but you'll squeeze your quads and your glutes and it'll take some of that compression out of the hips. We're not here for too much longer. I know it's early in the practice. Okay, this is really speaking to the tension in the body. So just breathe through it. Stay for one more inhale. And exhale, forward fold. Plant your hands, lift your hips, heel toe your feet in. And uh, okay. S walk your hands slightly forward from here and step your right foot 
um, in about a, a foot or two. Okay. Take an inhale to lengthen up through your spine and on your exhale, bend deep into your left knee as you send your hips to the back of the space. Okay. Inhale, shift forward. Try to straighten out both legs as best you can. Soft bend if there's pull in the back of your legs. And then exhale, bend your left knee, shift your hips back. Okay. Let's take three more like that. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, sit back. Can you soften your head? Let the back of your neck hang heavy. Two more, inhale. And exhale, nice stretch for this left calf. One more time, I think, inhale. And exhale, shift back. Hey, step forward with your left foot. Hold your forward fold. Option to take ragdoll arms. Maybe rest your, hat, your elbows on your thighs. Hey, or you can interlace your grip in behind you and let your head hang heavy. Sway your torso from side to side. Shake your head no yes. And slowly release the grip you have here. Take an inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Rise all the way up to stand. There's a full body stretch for you at the very, very top. Big stretch. And exhale, hands meet at heart. Okay. From here, take your right foot forward again. So same foot, right foot forward. Okay. With your inhale, lift up tall through your upper body. On your exhale, hinge forward and extend your left leg long behind you. Okay. Big step back, keep your chest tall, the spine, the core engaged, and then slow hinge forward balance on your right foot. Okay. Let's do three more like that. Big step back and slow hinge forward. Two more. Step back, it's okay if you're a bit wobbly, and slow hinge forward. One more time, big step back. Slow hinge forward, we're stretching out that right hamstring. Take a big step back just to release and then step to the top of your mat, mountain pose. Release your arms to your side body. Bring your feet together to touch. Take an inhale breath, grow tall through your upper body. Chair pose, exhale, sit back. This is for the spine. We'll do some movement for the spine, um, but also activate that strength in your lower body. So your quads, your glutes, sit your hips back and bring your hands to heart center. Take an inhale to lengthen your spine. With your exhale, a slow twist over your right side just to a hover so your core is working. Inhale through center, exhale, slow twist to the left. Okay, from side to side, inhale through center, exhale, twist right. Inhale through center, exhale, twist left. Let's do one more each side. Inhale through center, exhale, twist right. Inhale through center, exhale, twist left. Inhale, come back through center, hold, hold, hold. And forward fold, release, let that go. Let your head hang heavy, step your feet out, hip distance. Take an inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Step back into a tabletop, lower your knees down to the mat. Palms are rooted flat to the mat. And take your right foot, step it to the pinky side edge of your right hand, and then tuck your left toes under to activate your back leg. Okay, with your left hand down, can you twist open towards the right side of the space? And with your exhale, can you bring your right hand down to the mat, walk to the long edge of your mat to bend into your left knee and extend your right leg long. Okay. So this might be too deep coming all the way down. So your variation is here. Okay, so your hips are lifted. Okay, so you're here or you're lowering down here. Okay, let's come back to the top of the mat. Set yourself up into your lunge with a twist. And exhale, walk to the long edge of your mat. So it's like a side squat or a side lunge. Okay. Couple more like that. Inhale, shift forward. Right arm will reach up. Exhale, walk over. Side lunge or squat. Two more. Inhale. And exhale, notice that the breath really needs to slow down so you're not rushing this movement. Last one, inhale. And exhale. All right, friends, walk back towards the top of your mat, pivot on your left toes, step back into high plank, low plank. 
and come all the way down to your belly. I have a knot in my shirt, um, so slightly in the way, but let's take a cobra pose. Inhale, lift the chest, peel the shoulders back, press into the tops of your feet, and child's pose as you exhale, have forehead to the mat. Give yourself a few moments in child's pose just to reconnect. Catch your breath, then come back into downward facing dog. Plant your hands, tuck your toes, downward dog right into that forward fold, the back of your mat. Three rounds of halfway lift, inhale, exhale fold. Inhale, halfway, exhale fold. One more time, inhale, halfway, exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees as much as you need to with your hands on the mat, walk forward slightly and step your left foot, um, a foot or two ahead of the right. Okay, I have my right toes turned out slightly. Soft bend in your knees as much as you need to. With your exhale, bend your right knee and sit back into your right heel. Inhale, shift forward and exhale, press back. So breathe through this movement, inhale forward, exhale back. Really acknowledge the stretch in the right calf. Let's take two more, inhale forward and back. One more time, forward and back. Come back through center and step your right foot to meet your left. Feet hip distance, take an inhale, halfway lift. And let's hang out for another forward fold, whether you're in ragdoll, arms um, dangle, interlace your hands behind your back. You can add some twists. Over here for a couple breaths to decompress along the spine, stretch out the hamstrings. Uh, Slowly release whatever grip you have. Take an inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up, reach up, full body stretch. Hands to heart center. Okay. Left foot takes that step forward. And with your hands at heart, back behind you, reach forward. You get to choose what you need. Begin to shift your weight into your left foot and extend your right leg long behind you. Feel the hamstrings fire up and then big shift back. Rock forward, this is your warrior three variation. Okay, we're modified if the hands are at heart center. Three more, inhale. And exhale. Last two, inhale. Step back, exhale. One more time, inhale. Whoop. And exhale, step back. Let's meet at the top of the mat. Right foot steps forward. Hey, take an inhale, reach your arms up and over. Right away, chair pose. Bring your feet together, sit your hips back. Okay, we'll add some breath work here. So from chair pose, you'll use an inhale to reach your arms overhead, and with your exhale, sweep your arms back behind you and force an exhale breath out through your mouth. So it'll sound like this, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, Hey, we're here together for, let's go for four, inhale. Last three, inhale. Hey, sit back even further, two more, inhale, and really force that exhale breath. I'm being mindful with the mic. One more time, inhale breath. Exhale, come back through center, inhale breath. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step back, land in your tabletop. Okay. So we'll work that lunge flow on the other side. Now left foot steps to the outside of your left hand. And the reason I'm taking that stance versus this one just gives you a bit more space to move the torso for this movement. Tuck your right toes, lift your back knee up off the mat, and then with your inhale, reach your arm up overhead. Exhale, breath, hands meet the mat, walk to the back of your mat. You can take your side squat or you hold here in a, um, uh, uh, <laughs> you <laughs> come back into your side squat 
or you hold here in a side lunge. Okay. And then come forward with your breath, right hand down to the mat, and exhale, shift to your right leg. Take a few rounds like that with your breath, inhale, open, and exhale, walk back, right knee will bend, two more, inhale, and exhale. One more time, you can do it. Inhale, I am moving a little bit quicker, but slow it down to match your breath. Inhale, and exhale, slow shift back. Let's come back through center. Plant both hands, pivot on your right toe, step back into plank, lower your knees, lower your chest. Let's take a locust pose this time, inhale. Lift your feet, lift your legs, lift your arms, gaze slightly forward. Exhale, soften in, child. Pose. Huh. You slowly swing your legs around. You'll press up and swing your legs around. And come on to your back. Hey, take a moment to settle into the shape here on your back. And we'll pull the knees in towards the chest for a gentle squeeze in. <clears throat> keep your right knee in towards your chest. Option one, keep a bend in your left knee or extend your left leg long. <laughs> then open up to a half happy baby on the right side. Left hand will rest on your left hip bone. Reach for the pinky toe edge of your right foot. And then slowly extend out through your right leg. Big stretch for the back of the leg, maybe even the inner thigh. And then bend back through center. Again, slow extension out to the side. Bend back through center. Let's do three more. Extend. And soften in. You might have your hand at your ankle or behind your knee. Okay, bend. And extend. One more time. Come back through center. Okay, slowly with your knee bend or extend your leg straight. Can you guide your right knee over towards the left? You can use a hand, your left hand, to just support the leg. Soften your shoulders from your ears. And now feel some sensation translate through the outer right line of the leg. Some of you might have the space to come all the way into a twist with your right leg extended. Maybe um, a twist just feels good even if you have the right knee bent. Okay. But I encourage you to hold in a place where there's uh, quite a bit of sensation coming up and maybe different sensation than you would typically feel in our spinal twist. More about the outer line of the leg. And then slowly come back it through center, bring your right knee down to the mat. Realign your body on the mat, maybe sway your hips from side to side and we'll do the other side, left knee in. Remember, you can keep your right knee bent on the mat or extend your leg long. And then half happy baby, the left knee will open up towards the left side of your space. Stack your thigh or your ankle over your knee. Then extend and bend the left knee. Remember, you can hold your left leg at any place. It doesn't have to be at the pinky side edge of the foot. Just invite that movement in the inner thigh. Couple more times with your breath. And then come back through center with your knee bent or your leg straight. Can you explore a slow shift to the right side? Okay, so the sensation translates now through the outer line of the leg. You're welcome to come all the way through, but try not to lose that sensation. Keep it more in the legs and less in the spine. Unless you need the spine work, you're totally welcome. <laughs> And then eventually come back through center, and both knees on the mat. Take your knees open to recline bound angle. Rock your hips from side to side, your knees from side to side. Soften into the mat. And 
And if there's any other movement you need to close off your time in your practice today, you're welcome to take it. If you need more energy work, if you need more deep stretching, feel free to take it now. And you can close in this bound angle shape or open up to Shavasana, extend your legs and your arms. And just check in with how your body feels now, what it feels like to be in your body in these final few moments of your practice. And can you also take a moment here to reconnect to the intention that you created at the start of this 21 day journey? So what was it that inspired you to move your body over the course of three weeks, a daily practice? Hey, what were you looking to gain, let go of? And then in this moment that you're in right now, is that intention still the same? Maybe it has started to shift. Maybe there are different reasons you're showing up on your mat now. But take some time to listen in, to tune in to what it means for you to roll out your mat, move your body. What kind of light, what kind of energy are you creating in your world and in the world of people around you? Thank yourself for showing up to do this work. Send out a silent thank you to everyone else showing up to create intention, create meaning and purpose in their world and for the world around them. And thank you guys for joining me in movement again today, day 15. Congratulations. We'll see you again tomorrow. Namaste.